everyone. Uh, welcome to another edition of our Family Life series. I want to welcome you. I hope you've all been well, keeping safe, keeping strong. Today we'll be looking into the third aspect of raising godly children, and which is the God factor. Uh, the God factor is very important, as my darling wife just mentioned, uh, in raising children. Uh, sometimes we hear these days a lot of efforts uh, being made by parents. How do we uh, raise these children? And people, parents are concerned because mm. children seem to be given a lot of challenges. But what do we do? Uh, they, say, they talk about the fact that you know uh, we live in this modern world. Mm. It's now a different world. What do we do? How do we raise them? They seem to be giving us so much challenges. But I want to remind us as believers that, one, who gave these children? Mm. The Bible says children are the heritage of the Lord. Mm. Meaning that children are gifts from God. Amen. Children belong to God. Hallelujah. And the fruit mm. of the womb is mm. her reward. Amen. So we need to go back to the one who gave them. So that we can learn from him on how to raise Amen. them. So the first thing to realize is this. Children belong to God. Mm -hmm. Meaning that God has a design in mind yeah. before giving these children. Amen. He had a purpose in mind before mm -hmm. giving them. So the first thing is this. Realize that these children belong to God. Mm -hmm. Number two is this. Connect them to their divine mm -hmm. destiny in God. Train up. I've mentioned this before. Mm -hmm. Our part is to train. But realize this. God has a design. Yeah. So we train them in line with his plan, his purpose, his original design for them. Mm -hmm. Train up a child mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. way he should go. Mm -hmm. When he's old, he, he will not depart from, from it. it. Train them up. Mm -hmm. That is not sending them to the best <laughs> university. It's not sending them to, oh, I love university of this. I mm -hmm. love Harvard University. I love the University of mm -hmm. Melbourne, but the Bible never suggests or mentions that we should send them to the best university, mm -hmm. but to train them up, connect mm -hmm. them up to God's divine purpose for them. When they are old, mm -hmm. they will not depart from them. Mm -hmm. When they grow, they go, but they will still retain <laughs> the values. Hallelujah. The values you are putting to them Amen. as you train them. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God indeed is a is the one in charge. Yes. He says God children are gift from God. Children are God's inheritance. He's the one that gave them. Meaning that there's a purpose for which God has given that child to us as parents. So and as parents we need to find out what the one who gave them to us, what is his plan? What does he want? It's not just about you, oh, I want a child, I want a child. Yes. There's something that God has brought that child to do. Yes. It's when we don't know the purpose that we now begin to lead them in different areas. Yep. So we need to know what God has called these children. What is his purpose for giving them to us? Because each child has a unique destiny in God. Amen. At this point, I would like my wife to read from Psalm 78. Psalm 78 from verse number 1 to 4, especially verse 4. Psalm 78 from verse number 1 uh, to 4. Psalm 78. Psalm 78. Any particular version? Uh, well, I think you can read, uh, you know, New King James is good. Verse 4. All of them are good, actually, but let's go for New King James. Verse number 1 to 4. Yeah. Okay. Psalm 78 from verse number 1. Give ear, O my people, to my law. Give ear. Ear to my law. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark sayings of old, which we have heard and known, and our fathers have told us. We will not hide them from their children. We will not hide them from their children, yes. Telling to the generation to come 
the praises of the Lord and his strength and his wonderful works that he has done. Verse mm. number four. I want us to read that verse number four once again. We will not hide them from their children, telling to the generation to come the praises of the Lord and his strength and his wonderful works that he has done. It is very important mm. for us as Christians not to hide from our children the testimonies of God's faithfulness Amen. in our lives. Hallelujah. We've had God doing things in us, for us, mm -hmm. with us. Uh, we have testimonies of answered prayers. Let us start to share these testimonies with these children. Amen. Let them know how we got to where we are now. Mm. Let them understand the process that God has taken us through so that they will learn to go through their own process too. Mm -hmm. Sometimes many of us, uh, when we're going through some of these processes, these children are still young. By the time they grow, mm -hmm. they now see us, you know, in this position, in that position, and without their understanding, without we telling them, mm -hmm. without we explaining to them that, look, I didn't just start where you're seeing me now. God is actually taking me through some mm -hmm. process. They will just want to also want to start where you are. Thank God that our mm. children can benefit from what God has done for us and with us. But we must let them know mm. the testimonies of mm. God's faithfulness, the processes that God has taken us to. Let them know when things were not working out well. Let them mm. know the challenges that we went through. Let them know how God turned those things around. It's important for them to learn mm. that, look, God took us from where. And that's why even in the Bible, mm. you find God reminding his servants, David, will you remember where I took you from? Mm. I took you from when you were past, uh, when we were just taking care of the sheep. Don't forget that place. Mm. Now you are now the king, but don't mm. forget where you, I took you from. Mm. We must not let them forget. We must continue to remind them. Mm. We must let them know mm. where God took us from. Mm. Sharing the testimonies of God's faithfulness with our mm. children is very important. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And in addition to that, yes, sharing the, the testimony of where God took us from, let them, we need to let the children know. The Bible says, train them up. Part of the training is letting them know even maybe things that we made, where we made mistakes. There are times we made mistakes. Many times we try to present before our children that, oh, we are, the, we are perfect. No, nobody is perfect. We all make mistakes. Okay, I made mistake in this area. When I did this, I made this mistake. But this is what the Lord has taught me so that they don't make that same mistake. It's part of the training process. Teach them. They are God's gift. We are to train them up. We are to show them. We are to lead them to, to our God. We yeah. are to show them who our Father is, who we believe in. Take them, pray with them. Take what you are praying, they must see you praying. They, it's not that when you are praying, you send them out, or maybe when they're too small, they might make noise. Yes, leave them, but let them see because children can pick things. Remember, they are God's children. They are God's heritage. He has a purpose for them. When you are praying, do they see you pray? Or you, you push them aside. When you are studying, do they see you study? Are they, are they there? Do they see what is happening? Do you involve them in things that are going on in, in the home? Involve them, by involving them, I mean, okay, God's processes in our life. Let them see. They need things. Sit them down. Oh, not, it's not just, oh, mommy bring this, daddy bring this, daddy I need this. Let them see the process. We build in this home, God is our source. We believe God for everything. What you are doing is you are training them up, letting them know the, who the God of their father is. You are telling them, this, let's go to God. This is what the word of God says. Let yep. us believe God. Let us trust God. And that way they see. And when the testimony comes, let them also know. See, we prayed about this. See what God has done. What, have they, what are you doing? You are showing them that God is their source. You are teaching them to depend on God. You are teaching them to trust in God. And it's also building their faith also. That's wonderful. Thank mm -hmm. you for sharing that. Mm -hmm. And while you were talking, I just uh, uh, something just struck me. Uh, any, when they're if there's any area where they're struggling, mm -hmm. maybe in their education, uh, maybe they're having problem with physics or having problem with science or having mm -hmm. 
challenging whatever area they have in. Don't, if you are not, if when you are in your own uh, high school, maybe you struggle. Let them know that, you know, I also <laughs> struggle in this area. Don't start to tell them, you know, I always call 100% <laughs> when you never did. Don't tell them I always... Uh, 100%. <laughs> You know, in, in my class, when I was in your age, I was, uh, I was always <laughs> forced in the class when you were never forced. You know, don't tell them that. Let them know, you know, I struggle yeah. in science. That is why mm. I didn't study science. That is why I, I went to study law or studied in the arts uh, because I struggle with sciences. Let them know that. Don't tell them you scored 100% in everything. <laughs> you look at what you don't let and remember. Because you're not telling them the truth, God will not back you up, mm. you know. Mm. But when you tell them the truth, God will affirm what Amen. you're saying to them. Uh, tell them the truth. And finally, I just want to highlight this. Uh, something that my wife also mentioned, the area of praying. Uh, it's important that we pray with mm. them. And it's also important that we pray for, for them. them. It's also important that they see us pray in our own lives. Mm. Those three things are important. Number one, we pray with, with them. them. Number two, we pray for, for them. them. Number three, they see us also mm. pray. Yeah. Uh, it's very, very important. Romans 8.26 says, uh, Likewise, for we know not how mm. to pray as we ought, but the Spirit helps in our infirmities. Mm. Uh, get them to pray with you, especially in the Holy Spirit. W mm. When they start to grow, help them to receive the baptism of the Holy mm -hmm. Spirit. So they learn to pray in the Holy Spirit as they're growing. Mm -hmm. Because the Holy Spirit will help them to pray, will deepen their faith, mm -hmm. will, will help to strengthen them in faith, in, and also in their prayer life. The Bible says, for we know how to, we do not know how to pray as we, we ought, ought, but the Spirit Help Amen. our infirmities with groanings which cannot be altered in articulate mm. speech. 27 says, he that searches the heart Amen. knows what Hallelujah. is the mind of the spirit. And he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. As you teach them, mm. as you help them to start to pray in the Holy Spirit. What happens is this. The Holy Spirit will start to deepen them mm. in the faith. We start to teach them also. And we start to help them also in their own personal prayer life mm. as they watch you mm. they see that you pray mm. because if you're telling them go and pray and you don't pray mm. they will just do, they, will, they, will, they, will, they may not say it out but they'll be thinking you have been hypocritical <laughs> we don't see you pray we mm -hmm. see you sitting before the television mm. watching it all day <laughs> or watching it all evening and you say you want to go to bed they come to you daddy we're going to bed good night daddy and you say okay have you prayed you go and pray no, don't just tell them to go and pray. <laughs> go with them, them. to pray. Mm. Or better still, have a family altar mm -hmm. where everybody gathers together mm -hmm. and you share about the day. You share what God has been teaching you. Mm. You share what you have learned from uh, mm. your work with God and encourage them to also share. Let them also share. Mm -hmm. Oh, would they have anything to share? Of course. <laughs> Haven't they perhaps yeah. experienced it during the day too? Let mm. them encourage them what to, to share what they've learned to. And there's something that we practice in our own home. When we have family altar, after the Sunday service, we ask them, share what you picked, share what you You're learned, share your own, yes, what you've taken away from mm. the message. Encourage them to share. Mm. So that they, they, they would know that, hey, during service, I can't just go there and be playing mm. or be chatting or be sending texts, or be doing all those things. Mm. Because eventually, daddy or mommy will ask me what, have, what I learned from the message. Challenge them, help them, encourage them to share what they've learned from the message or from, what they, uh, from attending church that particular day. And through that, they share, you share, everybody's sharing. They are, they are learning from uh, your own experience. They are leaning on your strength. Hallelujah. You are imparting them with mm -hmm. the strength of God in your life so that they can start to what? T take on the values that you have. Mm. Values mm. are not transmitted through distance. Mm. Values are transmitted when you come together, mm. when you share together, mm. when you relate together. Mm. Let me remind you of Hebrews 11.9. nine. The Bible says, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob dwelt in the mm. same tent. Doing what? Looking at their different faces, <laughs> no, 
to impart the values mm -hmm. that God learned from Abraham. Those values were imparted to Isaac and then also imparted to Jacob. There's mm -hmm. also a clue there. It wasn't just Isaac training Jacob. It was both Abraham and Isaac that trained Jacob. Mm -hmm. You all know the story of Jacob. You all know that he almost went astray. Mm -hmm. You all know that Jacob, you know, the, the meaning of Jacob, uh, uh, the supplanter, the deceiver, but because of the impartation that he received, because of the training I believe he's also received mm -hmm. from his grandfather, mm -hmm. all these things helped him that eventually Jacob uh, aligned with divine purpose. God changed his name from Jacob to Israel, and you know what he's turned out uh, today. He became a pre progenitor of the nation of Israel. I want to say to you and also encourage you, pray with them, mm -hmm. pray for them, and then let them see you pray. This is very, very important. Because a prayerful Christian yeah. is a powerful, a powerful Christian. Christian. Prayer is one of the is one of the discipline they need to learn very, mm. very early in life. Mm -hmm. Whether they are babies, whether they are mm. little children, oh get them to start to pray with you. When they are babies, put them there when mm. you are praying. Let them start to see that in this family, in this place. Mm. We pray together. Hallelujah. It's very, very important. Yes, I'm sure my wife wanted to share one or two things. Amen. Praise the Lord. Um, also, um, you know, there are times, uh, let me say this, raising children is not a bed of roses. It has its challenges. It has its highs. It has its lows. But we must make up our mind that we will raise our children in the way of the Lord. Not the way we want. Thank God that for the way we want. Because at the end of the day, it is the word of God that will stand in their life. Yes. But with their children, maybe you've taught them, you've taught them, you've trained them up in the way of Lord. And when they grow, when they grow old, they tend to want to go their own way. But always remember, don't use your own mouth to cancel, to destroy everything you've imparted into them. Trust God for them. The seed has been sown into their yep. life. That seed will bear forth fruit. If we continue to water it, if we continue to tend that seed, the seed of the word that has been put into their life, they might go astray for a while, but God will bring them back yep. because that seed is there. And as we continue to pray over them, as we, co uh, my husband said, pray with them, pray for them. Call them. Let them see you also praying. As you pray for them, pray for them, calling them back to the Lord. God is faithful. He's the one who gave them to us. So we need to pray for them. He knows their end. If they tend to have gone away, pray for them to come back. Don't castigate them. Don't push them out. Yes, they will hurt us, but now God is able to God is able to heal that hurt. We do our part, and God will help us with the rest. He will give us grace to continue to raise them up. Amen. Amen. Praise, God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Don't forget this, that your investment mm. when they're young, those seeds have not been wasted. Mm -hmm. Maybe they are not even serving God right now. Trust God mm -hmm. that the harvest of the seed of prayer you sowed when they were little, mm -hmm. that God will bring the harvest Amen. to you. As a church, we believe that God is saying to us that this is a year of harvest. Amen. And I believe that in the name of Jesus, for our children who strayed away, mm. God will bring them Amen. back to faith Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to end this broadcast by sharing with us scriptures that have really, really helped us mm. as a family and helped me as a person. I pray it over my life regularly. Mm. I pray it over our children almost mm. on a daily basis. Mm. And that is from Ephesians chapter number 1, mm. from verse number 17. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you to pray this over your children too. Amen. And he reads, and I quote, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ mention their names, proclaim those scriptures over them, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, we grant mention their name. Mm -hmm. Maybe the name is uh, uh, Joyce, or the name is Glory, or the name is Grace. Mention the name mm -hmm. that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, we grant glory, we grant grace, we grant uh, joy, the spirit of wisdom Amen. and revelation Hallelujah. in the knowledge of him, mm -hmm. in the knowledge of the world, in the knowledge of the spirit, mm -hmm. that the eyes of her inner man, mm -hmm. the eyes of his inner man mm -hmm. will be enlightened yes. 
and flooded with life Amen. so that he would know or she would know Amen. the hope Amen. of God's calling yes. in his Amen. life, in her life, Amen. in the name of Amen. Jesus Christ. Pray Amen. this, Ephesians chapter 1, Amen. 17 to 19. Pray it Amen. regularly. Pray it every day. Pray for them and you will see the fruit of the seed of prayers that you are sowing into their lives. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' mighty name, mm -hmm. let us pray. Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you as we conclude on this series on raising godly children. Lord, I pray for all parents. I'm asking, Lord, that you grant them the wisdom. Mm -hmm. Grant them the strength yes. to raise up these mm -hmm. children. Mm -hmm. We've looked at different factors, key factors. Number one, the me factor. Mm -hmm. Number two, the we factor, mm -hmm. the family factor, the environmental factor. Mm -hmm. Number three, we're also looking at we've also looked at the God factor. Lord, I mm -hmm. pray for parents that you guide them, mm -hmm. you help them, mm -hmm. you strengthen them, mm -hmm. you encourage mm -hmm. them to have Apply all these principles, mm -hmm. O oh Lord, to their homes, in their homes, in Jesus' mm -hmm. name. Situations are different. Yes, circumstances Lord. are different. Yes, but the wisdom of God has a way of distilling yes. these principles yes, so that it can be applied mm -hmm. on individual cases. Mm -hmm. Lord, I pray for this wisdom for them yes, in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And I pray for children who have strayed mm -hmm. from the path of faith mm -hmm. after growing up. O oh Lord, my God. Let there be restoration. Amen. Restore them yes, back to Father. faith. Amen. Draw them back to Amen. yourself in Jesus' name. Amen. Remind them, O oh Lord, of Amen. the things they learned when they were growing up. Yes, Thank you, wonderful Thank Savior. You, we give you praise. We yes, worship Lord. you. Father. We adore you. Thank in you, Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Until we come your way another time, God bless you and bye for now. Thank you.